Hello, it's me, Nigel, from the Dark Sky channel. Welcome to this review of the Prima Lucha Lab Sister Senso 2. So, this is their second generation of robotic focuser that was released just before Christmas. And I placed an order because I was looking for a new focuser to replace my ZWO EF. Um, and I'll go through the reasons why I chose this one later on in the video. So, let's have a look at what we get in the box. Some uh, very small quality control ticked and a little bit about how to attach it to a focuser on your telescope. We get two cables. Uh, one is a USB-C to USB-A. One is the power cable with a cigarette lighter at the end. And we get some uh, focus collar adapters, various sizes and widths. And we also get some Allen wrenches and small grub screws in there as well. And then finally, this is the focuser. Um, first of all, what you feel is it's, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, feels really well made. Uh, there's no signs of any damage or scratches. Uh, it just feels nice in the hand. And one thing you'll notice about this focuser is there's no bracket to attach to a telescope. So a lot of uh, focusers traditionally have a bracket here and a bracket here, which allow you to uh, attach to many focusers. Uh, Prima Lucha Labs have gone for the um, method of using a collar straight onto the focusing shaft of your telescope. They did this on the version one. As I say, this is the version two. The actual writing on the front doesn't indicate it is version two, um, but there's some uh, pointers as to why this is version two. First of all, USB-C the version 1 was a traditional mini or micro USB cable, they've adopted now USB-C which is great. Uh, I hate micro USB cables and micro USB ports. They have a tendency to snap off in the on the circuit board they're attached to over time. Uh, USB-C is just more sturdy and it doesn't care which way around you put it in, so in, outside in the dark. If you're fumbling um, you don't need to sort of get all the lined up okay, you can just any orientation. There is an Arco port, which is for their uh, rotator. I don't have one of those. And there's a 12 volt DC in. Uh, I'll come on to uh, that in a little bit as to what I had to do to, to use this. Um, and there's a thermal input uh, port for their probe. So if you wanted to attach this to their, their, thermo their thermal uh, device, which will allow you to do uh, focus and adjustments based on temperature movements. Across the top we've got some LEDs, we've got the power, we've got a Wi-Fi and Arco. Oh, said Wi-Fi. So this device has its own little Wi-Fi uh, hotspot built into it. And what that means is you can attach a phone, a tablet, and basically connect to it over a Wi-Fi connection and adjust your focusing course and, and my, uh, minor movements uh, using that. Of course, there is ASCOM drivers provided, so it works with SGP, APT, Anything that will support an ASCOM focuser, this will also work with. So, the back to the, the voltage port. Um, I use a Pegasus uh, pocket power box, and they use 12 volt, 2.1 millimeter cables. The one that is provided with the sister Senso, the cigarette one, I believe this is 2.5 millimeters because when I tried to plug in one of my uh, pocket power box cables, it didn't fit. And I don't want to have to run another power source outside, I just want one which is my pocket power box. So luckily, I did a quick look on the internet and I'll bring in my pocket power box. I purchased a 2.5 millimeter to 2.1 millimeter Lynx Astro power co converter. It's not really a converter, it's the cables being converted. Uh, so that now allows me to use it with my pocket power box. Okay, let's attach this to the telescope and see how we get on. Okay, I've got the Sister Senso 2 focuser attached to my Skywatcher Esprit 100. It was relatively straightforward. I just downloaded the PDF from the Prima Lucha website, followed the instructions and uh, was fairly fairly painless. Uh, apologies, the, the, the focuser is on at a slight angle. I would probably readjust that when I go outside for an imaging session and make sure it's uh, 
as horizontal as possible. Um, as you can see on screen, there is the web page. Um, there's no application. You simply uh, point your web browser at the Sister Senso 2's IP address. Um, and you've got some very simple controls. So before I do this, I'll just mention that I've already calibrated this. So within the uh, software, there is an option to go through calibration and where you basically say, this is my zero position with the focus tube in, and then you uh, extend it out to the maximum using the, the sister senso, and then you stop it and that sets the maximum limit. I did it um, with a few millimeters to spare at the end. I didn't want to really strain any motors by having it draw it all the way out, and, and because it won't stop, it will just carry on, and gears will probably break if you don't um, stop it yourself. So let's just do a quick demonstration. We've got a slider here. I can just say where I want to go, and hit go, and the draw tube starts drawing out really nice and smoothly. Um, obviously one thing you can hear is the motors in the Sister Sensor 2 are quite loud. I know this was also uh, on the version 1 of the Focuser. Um, so compared to my ZWO EWEAF, uh, which I don't use anymore, um, it's quite noisy. For me, that's not a problem. Let's adjust it a bit more. Oh, hit the stop button by accident. Let's go. That's it, drawing it back in. So yeah, overall, really happy. Um, so please, if you want to see some more videos of this type of my astronomy equipment, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.